All right, back again, Luke here, and today what I want to do is show you something kind of interesting, and that is the uh, Multi Super Famicom, Famicom, and N64 Cleaner. And what this is is basically the same thing as what we all probably remember back in the day with the NES, uh, the NES cartridge cleaner, uh, how the NES had some kind of cotton material wrapped around plastic in the bottom and you wet it down I think with water or rubbing alcohol and then you push it into the system and it clean the contact points. This is basically the same thing only it has all three systems wrapped into one cart here. And if you look in the bottom here it kind of has a, a pretty strong looking sponge pad and uh, this is the same thing you just wind up wetting it down and pushing it in your system and uh, it'll get the pins cleaned. On the other side here, you can see up here, N64. Uh, this has the N64 part. And what's kind of interesting is, if I can get this part off, doo -doo -doo -doo, this is for the Famicom. So it has all three of them wrapped into one here. And it's not very uh, very much used. It's pretty much you know, in good condition, especially for the Famicom one. Uh, this one here, you know, it's been used up a little bit, but uh, the only big difference between the Famicom and the N64 is this little plastic adapter, which I thought was kind of nifty. And on the back here, push this one back down. Doo -doo. In the cart, it has this little cleaning stick, which can be used on all the different carts. And if you just pull the back off here, you can change out the padding. But I know that a lot of people know about the uh, regular NES cart and have seen the NES cart one many, many times. So having the Super Famicom, Famicom, and N64 one here, I figured I might as well show this one off as well. Uh, on top of this, what I've received a couple of, um, uh, maybe a couple of days ago, were some emails as to how do I clean my carts and how are the best way to clean carts. You know, sometimes there's... Uh, games that look like this, I mean, they're not in nice shape and they're nasty and, you know, you want to get them back to a clean condition and sometimes when you buy them from the store, they look ten times worse than this. And one thing that I can recommend here, uh, although it does have a different name in Japan, uh, it's something you can find in the States and probably in different parts of the world as well. This here, this is uh, Power Clear. And this is basically a cleaning sponge. All you need to do is just add water to it, and you can wind up cleaning up uh, all kinds of plastics. Uh, this is uh, a magical sponge, I kid you not. Well, I mean, it's not going to do any sort of magic or anything, you know, in front of your eyes, but you'll be pretty impressed with the way that it reacts with, uh, you know, dirt and polishing stuff up. It's really amazing. Uh, I think it originally came uh, from Germany, and... Uh, this was a sponge that was uh, developed in Germany. But in the States, you can also find it. I believe it goes by the name of Magic Eraser. Um, and it's made by Mr. Clean, I think, or Arm & Hammer or something like that. But it basically looks like this. Um, you can just rip off you know, any kind of piece that you need. Uh, just, you know, it's pretty flexible. You can just rip it off. And uh, you can use this dry or you can use this wet. Now, I don't really recommend using this dry because what it does, instead of uh, acting as like a sponge and a cleaner, it acts more as uh, more like sandpaper, and it will really file down plastic. Uh, if you have any sort of texture to plastic, it'll rub it completely off. Um, this is a pretty strong little sponge, but uh, I believe the active ingredient on the inside of this is bleach, um, and it really does do wonders. Just to kind of show you, um, we got this dirty cart here. And I got my uh, screwdriver here, my special bit screwdriver. Let's see if we can get the screw out. And this is something that you want to do if you have anything that has a, electronic uh, components to it or a chip or something inside. You want to take a, uh, the cart apart and um, before you start using water or anything around it. Ooh, and that cart is nasty. This is really nasty. <laughs> Let's hope the cart works. Woo! That is rough. I'm going to have to uh, do some serious work on this thing and see if we can get this to work. This might be a whole separate video. <laughs> but just to make a documented note here, you can see that uh, this thing is oxidized really bad. Do -do -do -do. Green oxidization. <laughs> but anyway, going back to uh, what I was talking about, trying to clean up the case here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our magic eraser slash power clear, and we're going to add some water. I got some water over here, kind of you know get rid of the excess water, and 
Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Probably not. So we'll get a close up. You know what this reminds me of? Kind of like one of those infomercials where you're like, yeah, look at the floor. Look at how the floor looked before. And then look at the floor after. You can see that it works perfectly. Buy now. Only four easy installments of 154. Forget that, you know. So here's, a, here's an example of what it does. Um, as you can see, you know, on the right side here, it's still, you know, it's not, not perfect. But big difference, right? So the Magic Eraser, it's uh, a really an amazing um, cleaning tool, and I totally recommend picking it up. And uh, if you can, you know, pick up a lot of them. Pick up, you know, a, a few different stacks of them. I, I would recommend, you know, at least maybe 10 packs, 5 packs, 6 packs, something like that. Because uh, they do go quickly, and sometimes, you know, they do shrink. Uh, they get smaller and smaller, and they are extremely useful for cleaning. But uh, they come in really handy, and that's what I use a lot for different things. I mean, I even used it on, uh, you know, some of the arcade cabs uh, to polish those up. So, but just want to show you here uh, a little bit of a cleaning tip and uh, what I use to clean some of my stuff. Another thing that I use to clean uh, some of my games and plastics. And... The good old multi three-in-one cleaning tool for the Famicom, Super Famicom, and N64. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.